Hi everybody, it's Christine McDonald from Rushing River Apiaries and I'm just going to do a real quick video this evening because I've had a lot of questions lately about this top box that we have on all of our beehives and what it's doing there. Um, we do leave them on year round, we call it an attic box uh, and I'll just kind of talk through the different purposes of it. I do want to start by saying though that um, we didn't invent this, we got it from someone else and um, now we swear by it. So. I'll just kind of talk through our use of it, but I'm not taking any credit for the idea. Um, now you'll notice some traffic going by here. You'll notice when I take off the lid that there is no access to the bees um, in here. And that is uh, part of kind of the structure of the attic box. You'll notice that it has some big ventilation holes um, and it actually has those on all sides. And if you look closely, they are covered by a wire mesh or a window screen, anything that doesn't let the bees in because the purpose is to keep the bees out of this top area. Um, one of the reasons that we love these top boxes is that it separates our inner cover and our outer cover or the lid. Um, and we really like that because we always leave a top entrance open for our bees on all of our hives. We do throughout the summer, throughout the winter, we always have the top uh, access open. Um, and we find that in a lot of our hives, they tend to prefer it. If not, if they're not using it equally, then they're actually preferring that top entrance. Um, and we find that in summer and winter. In winter especially, I think, because it gets a little bit more of the early sunlight, uh, or on days when there is only a little bit of sun and warmth, then it really seems to hit that top entrance more, and there's far more activity. And throughout the winter, the bees are moving up. Um, into where the honey is stored in those top boxes and so they tend to be up there and use that more. Um, now we do live in the northwest in Terrace where we don't have very cold winters. Um, it might get to minus 10 or minus 15 here for a handful of days but not much more than that. Uh, our bigger problem is humidity and so this upper entrance also helps with the, um, ventilation and being able to clear some of that moisture out of the hive. Um, so one of the purposes is that it helps us to keep this top entrance open all the time. Um, it's also very handy for holding a feed bucket when you do have a feed bucket on. So this bucket is sitting directly over top of the hole in the uh, inner cover. And when we remove the feed bucket, we actually just leave it inside but off to the side um, of this so that it's always really quick and easy to access if we need to um, put it back on again. Um, sometimes in the summer when it's really hot and we know that the bees are working hard to dry out the honey that they've stored, um, instead of putting a plug in that hole in the inner cover, we'll actually cover it with a wire mesh or with some window screen. Um, and then between that ventilation hole and these ventilation holes, they get really good venting throughout the whole hive. Um, occasionally we'll have a hive that kind of tells us that they don't want any of these top entrances or these top ventilations and they'll either start to propolize the screen in the inner cover or sometimes in late summer they'll stop, they'll, they will start to propolize this um, hole shut. Sometimes we'll kind of half close it and see if they're satisfied with that. Other times we just take our cue from the bees. If they're telling us that they don't want it open by starting to propolize it, we'll help them out and close it up. Um, but that's really only been on a couple of hives uh, that we've ever seen. So um, hide the feed bucket. And then of course in the winter, where I think they're more commonly used is it also holds our winter insulation. So in the winter, and I'll eventually do a winterizing video when we get a little closer to that, but we put um, one layer of that shiny bubble wrap that you use on like hot water tanks, one layer of that on the bottom. And then we put waterproof insulation in ours. It's actually fiberglass insulation that has been sealed in plastic um, to keep the moisture out of it. We have had really good success with that. I know that a lot of people in their attic boxes choose to use something that will actually absorb any excess moisture that comes out of the hive, um, like wood shavings or old blankets or newspaper, something that will take on that moisture. Um, and then when they go and check on it occasionally throughout the winter, they remove it and replace it with dry stuff. And I know that people have had very good success with that as well. But regardless, this box stays on year round as an insulation box in the winter, hiding the feed bucket in kind of the shoulder seasons uh, or during dearth when we need to feed. 
um, and always allowing us to have this top entrance open. I hope that answered some questions about this attic box. Um, if you have anything else you'd like me to do kind of explanatory videos on or how-to videos, I'm having lots of fun doing this, so let me know and I would be happy to do one.